What's up ATC gang? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna get some cleaning motivation. If you wanna see how I transform my kitchen from this to this, keep watching. Go to our favorite place. Oh yeah, yeah. So before we even get started, I just wanted to say I thank each and every one of you for subscribing. I recently just reached my first 1,000 subscribers. And I could not be more excited. I realized that each subscriber is an individual person and you choose where to spend your time and I thank you for choosing your girl. I appreciate you so much. All right, y'all. Let's get back into this video. All right, so I know I thought y'all was getting started, but you know, I got to stop and get my coffee. Because I've had a few errands today, I went to 7-Eleven and I'm trying something new. They have something out now called Pumpkin Spice Coffee. So if y'all find it at your local 7-Eleven, I do suggest giving it a try. So once I got my coffee heated up, I went ahead and started on these dishes. They were already pretty much clean. I just like to wipe them down again to get any extra suds off of them because they had soaked um, earlier in the morning. Yeah, we're going away, you and me. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. I love the idea of this drain basket. However, it constantly just falls, as you can see with the slightest touch. If you have a better suggestion, please drop it down in the comments so I can get something that actually functions. We won't ever come down. We won't ever come down low. Running from a ghost town where we never feel how to slow. We won't ever come down. For everyone that's new to my channel, hi, my name is Cicely. I am a disabled mother of two young boys. I was born with sickle cell anemia. So out of all of the hours that I've spent on YouTube watching lifestyle vloggers, I never see representation from the disabled community. And I just wanted to show that we can do it too and just lead, you know, fulfilling lives. So I love to record videos and vlog about anything related to home decor, whether it's installing a chandelier or putting down fresh carpet so you'll see weekly videos on my channel and all things mommy life vlogging decor hauls and organizational ideas so if that sounds like something you're interested in and you want to follow our journey i would love for you to subscribe don't forget to turn on those notification bells so you don't miss an upload So I'm just about done wiping down the walls like the backsplash and my countertops and I'm going to just move on to get my cabinets. It's just a bottle um, like an old speaking span bottle but it has a little bit of pine saw in it and some hot water. I'm just curious do you all wipe down your cabinets every time you clean your kitchen or is that like considered something extra you do once in a while? Leave me a comment down below. So I feel like I've developed like some form of obsessive compulsive disorder. I want to make no light of the issue, but I don't know. Let me know. I now have to wipe down each knob and each high touch area like the doorknobs and the remotes even after they've been cleaned with a Lysol wipe or either a Sandy wipe just to make sure I've gotten everything, you know, as germ free as possible. I feel like living in the times that we're in, I'm extra nervous. So coming from different places, work and school, I just want to make sure everything is as sanitized as possible. If it's just me and, you know, this pandemic is making me a little extra, then let me know. But if you are also wiping down countertops and knobs twice, let me know it's not just me.
I don't know why I'm sitting here the whole time with this blanket on the chair in the way. My mom taught me if you do something the lazy way, you're going to end up doing it twice as hard. All right, y'all. I got to get better. But I'm going to go ahead and just put the pillows back that go in this area year round. I do not like to move my normal decor. I just add in seasonal touches when necessary. So the pieces over here, I've already hauled. I'll make sure to link that in the cards above. My baby came along to help me out. I love having his touch. So let's see what he contributes. Loving this feeling of self. I just love how my son um, added his little wreath and then steps back to check it out and see what a good job he did. That's definitely something I do in design. Sometimes you just got to back away from the project and look at it from a distance and see how it turned out. So I'm just clipping off the tags and my son is putting away my steam mop. And I really like how the pop of blue added something special to this corner. Before I got started with the dining room table, I went ahead and spot treated these benches. I'm about ready to sell them because I'm just ready for a more traditional height table. But I took my Bissell spot cleaner and saturated the spots and went on each uh, cushion and gave them a good scrub down. They turned out pretty nice, but I think I probably will end up listing them on Facebook Marketplace in the next 30 days. Once I got them nice and clean, I went ahead with my tablescape. So if you are enjoying today's video, I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you know every time we upload. So in any design, I feel like layering and texture is key. So the first thing I did was put down my new runner and then I came in with some texture and color with the burlap. I put those down on the both sides. What you do to the left, you do to the right. And then I followed up with some nice ribbon that I found to bring in the blue and white checker pattern. Then I'm just gonna come in with some little table toppers. These pumpkins are from the Target Dollar Spot. And I got this blessed sign, I want to say from Dollar Tree. And because it just didn't match my uh, decor, I just took off the little flowers. You know, you got to be able to look at something from the angle of how you can use it. These pillow covers are from Amazon and I just love the pretty pop of gold that it brings. And then I added the pillow wrap around. I probably had these for about five years and I want to say they came from Hobby Lobby. So I just wanted to thank you again for taking the time to join me on this video. I was so glad to go ahead and get this video filmed for you all. I am almost done. I'm just going to take the rest of the decor and decorate my stove and my countertops and then we will be wrapping it up and looking at the final product. Thank you so much for joining me and leave me a comment down below. Have you decorated for fall yet? I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine But I can tell that you have something on your mind right now But I 
will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes So if you guys are feeling all the fall vibes, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below on which part was your favorite. So you see me lighting these candles. So you know that means we've come to the end of the video and I've had fun. But come on y'all, it's real time. All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time Count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Let's have a drink Just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time Count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good The good vibes We are all about the good The good times Dance until it feels alright